Yes guys, welcome back to another video. This is going to be really the final video before I head out to do this horror challenge. So this is me packing, getting prepared. So today is the 6th of March, which means I leave in two days. Very scary, but I feel prepared. I'm getting there. I'm about to put all this stuff into my bag over there. So I just thought I'd explain what I'm taking and why. Firstly, I've got my shirts and my kits here. I've actually got four of everything which you know I wanted to keep my, my kit as light as possible really because the less we take the better we want to reduce our weight quite quite a lot so all the shirts all the shorts and I've also got underskins as well which is going to pre uh, prevent the sun you know getting there uh, getting on my legs so that's a big thing and this is just a training shirt I've had printed up really to travel in it's very lightweight so I might need to wear it so big up really to our sponsors we've got Under Armour who are providing all our kits we have got challenge sahara logo of course on the shirt and the charity sterling solutions they are our kit sponsor actually and phd nutrition are our uh, nutrition supporter they're providing us with lots of uh, energy bars and nutrition information for this trip so that's going to be a uh, big help really so that's my kits i've actually got some warm clothes in there as well and a rain jacket just in case you never know you do never know it could rain anyway onto the shoes you might have seen these while i was training so i'm going to be doing the challenge in the hocker shoe it's actually the challenger shoe which it kind of looks weird you know got this massive sole but these are desert running shoes and they are absolutely brilliant they're so light they're so supportive and they're very grippy but you'll notice there's a track of velcro running around the shoes now they enable me to attach my running gaiter so this gaiter will go across and the reason I'm wearing this on top of my shoe is to stop all the sand getting in very very important if I get sand in my shoes then it's game over I'm gonna have to stop the challenge so this whole setup here with the gator and the shoes has been so important getting this together i have got my foam roller so i'm going to try and squeeze this in luckily i've got one of the hollow ones so i hope they can put some clothes in the middle of here and really maximize the space but matty who was on the channel recently he really really stressed the importance of bringing a foam roller because you know my legs are going to be super tight and i'm going to be covering quite a lot of distance each day so very important here into my bag i've got some things in the bag already so i've got these things which are actually um you could call them dry packs or, or covers for for my bags so this will go over the top of our day sacks if we need them we might not do but you know again you've got to prepare for every eventuality so they'll just protect our bags it's kind of like a cover a bit like a tent to go over the top these are dry bags so or sandbags whatever they, they basically protect things so you put whatever you want in like valuables phones our cameras fold it up and then it'll keep everything secure and it'll keep everything away from all the elements i've kind of learned over the past few weeks like there's been so much sand everywhere and i want to reduce that really in, in all my clothing i have got the most important thing in here oh my word this is my sun cream so i've actually got a factor 50 which is very high very much needed i'm gonna be putting an awful lot of sun cream on each day to protect me from the sun i've got a towel for obviously cleaning myself we're not going to have showers or anything like that, but I will need a towel just to obviously, you know, it might be to get the sweat off my brow, it's going to be warm, it might just be to clean myself on a night with water, but these things dry super quick, so they're just a lot easier than normal towels. Yeah, I've got some tape, <laughs> I'll probably do something with that. I've got my trekking bottoms, which I used for Everest last year. I kind of put them in thinking I might use them, but I might not, but they might come in handy at the night time you know and i'm sleeping to keep warm and this is one thing i forgot last year this is my toilet roll so you know don't want any accidents on the way if i need a, a number two should we put it that way this will come in handy so they, yeah they don't provide toilet rolls so you've got to bring your own this is just my soap bag with general soap baggy things you know deodorant i won't even be taking hair gel but it's more like moisturizers and creams you know just to keep me uh moisturized and protected each day so again just need to keep my pack as light as possible we've got the first aid kit here this will come in handy if we get any blisters hopefully we won't i've also got a 
torch in here so the torch obviously will be needed at night because we don't have any light whatsoever so just to get around so all this stuff very important I'm gonna move on to the most important thing the football or football should I say so for freestyle have kindly provided us with their v2 control ball honestly guys if you are a football player or a freestyler this ball is super super special it's obviously designed for freestyle but it's an official size and weight football so i wanted a ball that was going to be very durable and very good and something i can trust so you can probably see that this thing's been used quite a lot obviously i need to clean it before i go and I've got two spares just in case they pop or something happens to them, we lose one, hopefully we won't, but big up to 4 Freestyle for sponsoring our ball. And this thing is actually a carrier that they have provided, so when I go out, I'm obviously going to have to check this big bag in, into the hold luggage of the aeroplane, but I wanted to make sure I had a ball on me at all times just in case our bags are lost because you know if we lose the balls then we're gonna have to delay the whole thing we don't want to do that so I'm gonna attach this to my bag it's gonna hold the ball and then I'm just kind of ready to go whenever so I'm gonna try and keep as much of my essential things on me while I'm traveling just in case because you don't want to lose it in transit so I've got lots of socks I'm actually gonna be using merino wool boxes so the reason I use these are because, well, they, they're actually really light, but the material is, is almost like odorless and it, it, they just don't smell. They're really light, as I said, and I've got all my running socks and trekking socks in here. So proper stuff in here to keep my feet protected. And I've also got the socks that I'd mentioned previously. These these things here, they look a bit weird. They're called the Injinji sock. They're like a glove around the toe. So I'm gonna be putting these first on my feet, so around my toes, and then I'm gonna put a sock on, then I'm gonna put my shoes on the gator. So I'm gonna be really protected with all of this going on. But obviously I've, I've trained with them, so I am used to them. This is kind of my nighttime stuff. So again, merino wool this stuff is just so good it's as i say again it's very light and merino wool is just such high quality it's quite expensive to buy but trust me it is worth it i took these particular tops out to everest and these bottoms as well i used them for the challenge because i needed to keep warm for that challenge this time i'm gonna have to keep warm at night because it's gonna be cold at night so this is basically gonna be my pajama setup i've got a hat here i have got extra socks i've actually brought my granddad's scarf my lucky charm i took this to everest last year uh, preston north End, my hometown club so flying the flag for them on this particular challenge and yeah this is gonna keep me warm i've also brought a few extra bits and bats like t-shirts and a, a, a fleece top as well for nighttime you know just chilling out and things like that onto the water setup so right here i've got this is called the camelback it actually goes into your day pack it kind of comes up and out through my bag so it's just been in the wash <laughs> so i'm drying this thing out so this is going to be inside my backpack and it'll just allow me to have water whenever i need it i am going to be drinking i don't know how many it'll be liters and liters per day and just in case I've, i'm going to fill some of these just i'm going to crunch them up so they fit into my bag fill these up with water and i've i've also got this which i used for everest last year it's just a just a standard water bottle but it'll just hang on my bag if i need to it's got like a carabiner clip which i've got on my back so i just wanted to make sure i had water at all times very very important onto the camera gear so i'm going to do this in two bits because we've got an awful lot our main sponsor and supporter is gopro it's such a cool brand but they're providing us with all our camera gear and we are hoping to make a really cool film out of this so we've got mounts in the little bag here so this is a mount which will give you a point of view of what i'm seeing while i'm kicking the ball it's going to sort of come over my head but this thing is the karma drone absolute beast so the karma drone with all the extras it's ready to go we've got the remote here which opens up extra propellers so this thing is beautiful really it all fits together 
and we're going to put this in the bag. So as I mentioned, GoPro are our main backers, our main sponsors, which means we're taking an awful lot of uh, camera gear out there. So this is our main bag of cameras. Obviously, we're not going to take this hard shell bag out there because it's just way too heavy and way too bulky. So firstly, we've got all these Hero 7s, which are going to be strapped to me in different ways. So we need to get these all sorted tonight. Actually, we're going to mark them up for different things. So one of the cameras will be slow-mo. The, the other ones will be for like wider shots. We'll set one up with the audio mics, which we have in here. So every camera will have a purpose for this trip so we can make a very beautiful video so the hero sevens are in here all the extras and audio gear are in here we've also got filters for the cameras because it's very very sunny out there which means that you know there's a lot of glare on the camera so we need to be careful of all this we've got mounts in here this is where all our audio gear is being kept and here we've got the GoPro Fusion, which if you're not aware of the Fusion, it's actually a 360 camera. It films absolutely everything around you. So we're hoping to get some really cool shots with that. So I'm gonna be passing all of this stuff on to the team who are filming it for me so I can really concentrate on the challenge. Mm -hmm. 